Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, if anyone watched my vlog yesterday, you'd seen that I was editing a video and I had these things here, which I don't know what you call them, I came across them by accident, but I'd call them section markers myself. And uh, Michael Vettis commented and asked how to do that, so probably easier to do a video than actually explain in a comment. So I'm gonna try and keep this one really quick. All you need to do when you're in your timeline, you've got all your clips wherever you want them click somewhere on the timeline, make sure none of the actual clips are selected otherwise. So if you click on one of the clips and press M, it'll leave a marker on the clip. You don't want that. You want a marker on the actual timeline. So select the area you want, press M on your keyboard, and you'll see we leave a little marker. If you double click that, like that, you'll get this window, a little pop up here. So let's give it a name. Let's just call it close up one. You can give this whatever name you want. Now the reason, you have to set a duration here, otherwise you won't get that, that spread type thing. So just set a duration by dragging this across or entering anything in you want. Doesn't matter how long it is, you can adjust it later. Then we give it a color, so maybe red, and make sure it's a comment marker. Uh, then we press OK, and there it is. So if we zoom in here, you can just drag that out and make it as long or as short as you like. And there you go, now it's way easier to find your clips because if you look up here, they're all there. You can put your mouse over them so you know... <clears throat> Sorry about my voice, I woke up not too long ago. <laughs> um, yeah, you can see your intros and all your shots. It makes it way easier. So what I do after I've shot something, put it all in Premiere, sync the audio, and then I um, get them in the stages so the intros will be there, this shot will be there, that shot will be there, then I put all the markers there. Then I'll make a separate sequence where I actually put the whole... Uh, scene together I guess put the, yeah put the whole scene together and I know exactly where my shots are every time I come to this window just so I need a let's go for this shot or that shot or whatever so yeah it's as easy as that guys hope that helped uh, please subscribe and I'll see you soon thanks for watching